I've always been kind of jealous of journalists and how they were treated by some companies by receiving not only early review codes but also exclusive products, some of which sadly were never made available to the public and all expenses paid trips to gaming events. So during the sixth generation of consoles, it was always exhilarating to read or watch these events and early gameplay videos via various gaming magazines or demos which were sometimes packed in with those magazines, allowing me to get an early view on what developers were able to push out on these consoles, especially the PlayStation 2. Seeing how weaker it was compared to its contemporaries like the original Xbox and Nintendo GameCube. But amongst a vast library of games on the PlayStation 2, one which caught my eye and made a significant impression later on in the PS2's life was the first God of War. At the time, it was outstanding seeing these games run on the PS2 and how it was able to push that console not only in terms of its visuals but also its exceptional gameplay. And it seemed like most other video game websites, magazines, and friends shared the same opinion I had for God of War. So just like with Halo 3 on the Xbox 360, it was no surprise to see how much Sony was hyping on God of War 2 for its 2007 release. And as reported by the Daily Mail, maybe Sony tried hyping it up a little too hard. Since according to the Daily Mail in 2007 during an event which took place at the city of Athens in Greece, awesome. To celebrate the launch of God of War 2, the organizers at that event thought it would be a great idea to use a freshly slaughtered goat as a centerpiece for the launch event whose head was nearly decapitated hanging by a thread of tissue from its corpse. Guests were then invited to reach inside of the goat's still warm carcass to eat awful from its stomach. Not awesome. While this was going on, topless women whose upper halves were painted over, so Twitch friendly, were reported to be dipping grapes into guests' mouths. As a man dressed as Kratos handed out garlands for the attendees to wear. How nice. Not fun enough? Well, according to the Daily Mail, there was a competition to see who could eat the most awful made to resemble the goat's intestine. I wouldn't blame attendees if they didn't have enough of an appetite to compete in that event though. Assuming they didn't have kiosks with copies of God of War 2 running at the event, they had the option to engage with two other activities, which guests and 20 European journalists at the event were able to enjoy. One which involved throwing knives at targets, and another where the invited guests and journalists would be tasked to pull snakes from a pit with their bare hands. How is this fun? Again, I wouldn't blame attendees if they didn't have enough of an appetite to compete in that event either. Here's the wild part though, for some reason someone who worked at the official UK PlayStation magazine thought it would be a great idea to report on this event across a two page spread without censoring anything. They show a dead, nearly decapitated goat, not showing that, a topless woman holding two candles, not showing that, a man wearing an apron made of a satyr I assume, what looks like a Kratos cosplayer holding a PlayStation 2, and I'm guessing an Athena cosplayer holding a PlayStation 3. The Daily Mail only scanned one page and blurred out the goat in this picture, which I am absolutely not going to show the full picture of since it's... you can tell. Yet, yeah, the Daily Mail decided not to blur a topless woman holding two candles in this picture, which is the other reason why I cropped the image as not to add on to her embarrassment. I did spend two days looking for this PlayStation official magazine scan of this God of War 2 event. Sadly, I could not find any scans of this particular magazine. Part of the reason is because after Sony was notified about this two page spread, it turns out that Sony tried to recall the entire 80,000 print run of the PlayStation magazine sent out to stores. Yet, they weren't able to stop all of them from going out. Many of which were sent to subscribers of this magazine, so there should still be some 2007 copies of this UK PlayStation magazine out there which has this spread. And if anyone has this or any other gaming magazine alongside the demos included, there are plenty of which are still missing from the archives. If possible, it would be very cool if you could scan and upload them to the Internet Archive at archive.org. It is awesome revisiting various old magazines or demos on this website to read articles of games like, say, this Half-Life or Black and White Dreamcast port, both which were later cancelled. But you can read about them in the December 2000s issue or later issues of the official Dreamcast magazine. Or how about that one time someone sent a supposed leaked image of GTA 4 to a bunch of media outlets as a disgruntled Rockstar employee. 
Well, here you go. I found this in the 2006 57th issue of the official Australian PlayStation magazine while looking for the two-page spread of the God of War events. I accidentally looked in the wrong year when I found this. Links to the archive magazines in the description. I did not only limit my search just to the Internet Archive by the way, I just couldn't find it anywhere. So maybe it's still out there and I just didn't look in the right places or hard enough to find it. But after the Goker fuffle, a spokesperson for Sony did comment on this event once the news of it spread online. And stated that, We are conducting an internal inquiry into aspects of the event in order to learn from the occurrence and put into place measures to ensure that this does not happen again. They did receive some pushback from the International Fund of Animal Welfare, of course, soon after the Daily Mail article came out, yet surprisingly, not much from PETA. According to Engadget, surprisingly PETA's reaction was meh at most, expressing their disappointment in Sony, but pointing to the public as being self-governing on finding the picture offensive. I did find the post on PETA's website talking of this event, and Engadget did leave out the part where PETA said that this event could qualify as the single lousiest party in history. In which I would agree with if they didn't have the snake pit. Soon after Sony looked into this, in a statement on Joystick, now and Gadget, they voiced that most of what was regurgitated online just wasn't true. And how the reporter who was responsible for the official PlayStation Magazine article didn't even bother to attend the event. And the basis of his article was from the Invitational pamphlet, which employed a degree of hyperbole in order to encourage attendance. So the two-page spread, which the Daily Mail reported on, was exaggerated to an extent. The event was a theatrical dramatization with the Greek mythological theme, and as a part of the set dressing, a dead goat was provided by the production company from a qualified local butcher. As for the offal said to be eaten from the dead goat's still warm body, the warm entrails referred to in the Invitation and the Mail on Sunday article, aka the Daily Mail, was actually a meat soup made to a traditional Greek recipe and served to attendees in China bowls direct from the caterers. There was never any question of journalists being able to touch the goat or indeed eat soup directly from the body of the goat as one report has alleged. The goat was returned to the butcher at the end of the event and ended it by saying that they recognized that the use of a dead goat was in poor taste. Followed by apologizing for the two page spread in the official UK PlayStation magazine. Surprisingly, they didn't deny the topless women weren't drop feeding grapes into yes mouths. And unless their quote that following the mainstream popularity of shows such as I'm a Celebrity Get Me Out of Here series of challenges were set for journalists was meant to include the snake stuff, it seems like they ignored the part where guests were tasked to pull live snakes from a pit with their bare hands. It's such a shame that a video wasn't recorded or that pictures weren't taken of this event to at least watch on one of those PlayStation Underground discs. I would have loved to see Kratos passing out garlands or people pulling snakes out of pits assuming they weren't those rubber or wooden toy snakes. Otherwise, this was an enjoyable topic to revisit. And again, if anyone has a copy of this or any other magazine that may be missing in the internet archive, it would be so cool if you could scan them into archive.org. But that's the story of how Sony slaughtered a goat to celebrate God of War 2. And thus ends the final time Sony ever did anything controversial. Uh oh. I couldn't find a story corroborating what I'm about to say and forgot the podcast where I heard this from, so take this with a gigantic grain of salt, so a rock. I first heard of this goat scandal when a host said he spoke to someone at Santa Monica Studios, who, when first hearing of this goat situation, were worried how Peter would react to the article. And of course, later once people started protesting in front of the building, they immediately thought it was PETA. However, it turns out that once they sent someone out to talk to the protesters, it wasn't actually PETA, but a group of parents, I think protesting a school board who got the wrong building. Take that story with a rock of salt, but it's where I first heard of this goat scandal. Again, sorry I can't remember the name of the podcast. If I ever do remember it, or if someone knows it, I'll post it in the description. Instead of this event, I was going to make a video talking about a Need for Speed Most Wanted event around the 360 launch instead. I think this event was on MTV, but just like the 2007 PlayStation Magazine scans, I couldn't find any footage of it. So, having recently played God of War Ragnarok again because of the new DLC, it reminded me of the GOAT scandal, so I decided to make a video of this God of War GOAT event instead. 
I'm also like 90% sure Anthony Anderson and Josie and Marin were shoutcasters for the Need for Speed Most Wanted event. There was a part I distinctly remember where Anthony Anderson was continuously screaming, He knows something we don't! While Josie Marin kept saying, Yes we do! after a player took a shortcut. So if anyone also has footage of that tournament, it would be incredibly awesome if that were also uploaded online to watch again. I did cut out a large part of this video where I talked a bit too much about demo discs on archive.org and how you can actually play PlayStation demos on a MAME emulator running in the archive website. Or listen to the music from some of these discs, since certain PS1 or Dreamcast games, if put in a CD player, it will give you the game soundtrack. But it felt like I started to ramble too much about it and a bit awkward returning to the GOAT story so I cut it out. If any of you want to check out the articles, music, or whatever I used in this, I'll post links to them in the description. Otherwise, I hope you like this video and thank you for watching.